Hey everybody, Jeff, aka G Curse here. I hope you can hear me. Hold on, let me turn on my microphone a little bit. Uh, I've been sick for the last couple days, and I, the one thing that that is about me when I'm laying in bed and I have nothing to do, I start thinking about things I can fix regarding various projects that I work on. Uh, I was thinking about uh, black site files from Unsolved Mysteries, and I thought, you know what? would be an awesome way to give people a chance to have a little bit of interaction with the uh with the, the videos i thought it'd be awesome to give them a chance to vote on what the uh thumbnail will be uh and so i decided that each case that i do from black site files from unsolved mysteries starting with season one episode 10 case two which is the uh, Robert Matthews case, uh, also known as Missing Time. Um, I figure I'm going to start giving the viewers a chance to pick what the thumbnail will be. So let's pull it up. So what I did was I, uh, I let's close that one up there. Uh, I decided to make up a whole shitload of various thumbnails. Now let's actually... Let's, let's see here. How can I do this? Let's see. Let's move this. Okay, I can do this. Now, I did not realize that YouTube only allows you to, uh, when you're doing a poll, they, they only allow you four images. So I actually made up a shit ton of uh, thumbnails already. And basically what you get to do is you get to, def uh, you get to, hold on vote on what there is or which one will get you know be used uh now just so you know if you're watching this uh basically okay hold on if you're uh just so you know from now on i'll probably have like my image a picture of me kind of superimposed in the lower left or right corner so whatever gets uh voted will ultimately also have my image in the lower left or right corner just depending on the image itself. Hold on one second. Okay, uh, so... All to, okay, so first image we have is the default. This is like what I always use, standard background and everything. And everything you're going to see now are screen caps from the case itself so let me I'll, and I'll go through each of them so here we have basically we have bob matthews or robert matthews looking out when he had his uh initial encounter with the ufo this i think this is the only image that i thumbnail that i did where the the whole the logo is still full full screen so this is the only one i think that i did that so let's continue on uh, up next, we have just Bob Matthews, his, uh, basically, this was his introduction when he was first on camera, so that's what this one is. Up next, we have the actor playing as Bob Matthews when he was, uh, calling the, uh, when he was calling the, the army base. I think this was just after he, uh. This, I think this is just after he saw the UFO and he was starting to get concerned about what it was he was seeing. And then, I love this one, but I don't think that this actually made it to the final four. Uh, basically, I just had a, the, the lone... Uh, lone... Phone booth. Basically, just... I want to give it a little bit of sense of, uh, like, like, mystery. You know, I, that's why I picked this scene. But I don't think... This ultimately made it to the final four. This is one of the images of when Bob Matthews was being uh, interrogated by his CO. This is another one. This was just after they asked him if he was drunk. This is actually, a, look, this is Bob Matthews himself. And he was kind of, uh, I think this was when he was on vacation and he was looking off, I think he was looking off over the ocean or something, if I remember correctly. 
while he was on his vacation, he went to a store, uh, like a uh, gro like a little Minute Mart, to find a book to read while on vacation, and he came across a book that had an image of an alien on it, and this is that image here. Bob Matthew, Bob Matthews, uh, God, I can't recall the name of the author of that book, but he reached out to the author of the book, the guy who you see, um, you can't really see me pointing, but it's the guy over there, you know, uh, he went under hypnosis and this is that scene. One second, please. Um, This image here is when uh, Bob Matthews was taking the Unsolved Mysteries crew with him to uh, to point out like where it was that he saw that UFO. And let's see here. This one is when he was in a parking lot near that same location. This is one of the aliens that Bob said that he saw. And then we have the final uh, final thumbnail. It's of Robert Stack uh, at an observatory. And that is it for the. That is it for the. Uh, oh God, the uh, the images that I made up. Like I said, I made I made a lot of them, but sadly, YouTube allows only four, so I did not know that until it was too late. So the voting will be will go on from now until uh just before I start recording the Bob uh Bob or the Robert Matthews I keep saying let's say it's short but the Robert Matthews uh case I'm going to let the voting continue on and here are the ones that made it into the final four Okay so you get your de the default uh thumbnail you have your Robert Matthews introduction, uh, the thumbnail. You have the alien thumbnail. And then finally you have the Robert Stack thumbnail. And like I said, I just want to go back on record and say that whatever, with it, probably with the exception of the default, because there's not, unless if I like modify the size of the, the text, my image may not be the default. It may or may not just based on how it looks. But like with the red, like with numbers two through four, I will uh, be superimposing my image on like in the lower left or right corner. So, you know, but to find this poll, if you're curious, go to my profile on YouTube and uh, oh God, and then go to, to the community tab and scroll on down it'll be the first one can i pin it no you cannot i wish you could pin these uh posts you know but uh there then you could just vote on what you would like to see and like i said this the voting will take place until i get ready to start recording this uh this case on black site files from unsolved mystery so uh, at most will probably be at least two more weeks because i'm not doing any real any real projects this weekend because I'm under the weather. But so, and then next week I have case number one of season, uh, of episode 10, season one. So I'm already going to be doing that. And then the voting will be done in about two weeks, roughly. Yeah. So that is it. Like I said, this is just basically what I wanted to show. You guys get to choose, and if nobody votes, then I will most likely pick one of the final four, if not one of the other ones that I made. So good luck to whatever you vote for, and I will see you all later. Peace out.